Hey everybody, this is Matt Doomaster with Alpha Game Reviews. Going to be taking a very quick look here at character creation in the Alpha version of Destiny for the PlayStation 4. Uh, we're starting off here at the Choose Your Class screen, and we see we got three choices: Titan, Hunter, Warlock. Now, the exact nature of what these choices are going to mean for you, I can't really say at this point. This is Alpha. I just started playing this. I've played a little bit on a Titan character already. The gist of what uh, what it seems to be is that Titans do some. They have some uh, abilities that let them take damage. They uh, have defense and, and ability in particular that's pretty cool. While the Hunters seem to be more about ranged weapon damage, and the Warlocks seem to be more about uh, ability damage, but you know, I'm sure there are some exceptions to those sort of rules and all kinds of crazy details will come out. I'm going to select a warlock here. And then we're going to look at the races. So there's three races, human, awoken, exo. I don't believe there's any stat difference between them. Um, we, you're looking at the exo right now, which, yes, they are uh, they're cyborgs. So there's a male exo. There's a female. The look here is randomly generated each time you create a character, so they have different options they pre-select, but of course you can change those as you'd like. The Woken are kind of like those uh, characters from Prometheus, you know, the big white guys. That Remember that terrible movie? Uh, and then the humans are, well, they're humans. I mean, what do you want? So, go ahead and, and go in here real quick to face options. The Awoken and Human face options are pretty similar. I mean, there are differences between them. Uh, the Awoken look more alien, more uh, elven. I, I, I wanted to say that you almost think you could make a nice, nice Dritz Duodiran impression with an Awoken, minus the pointy ears. Um, but as you can see, otherwise, they're pretty similar. Uh, you're going to have your face, face um, options. You're going to have your hair options. Of which there are quite a few, and I think the hair in this game looks quite nice. You can also change eye color, lip color, hair color. And finally you have your markings, which are tattoos. And the hairstyles and tattoos also are slightly different between the humans and the Awoken. Like, uh, got that sort of tiger looking tattoo there. And then I go to the humans, you see we, we have like a skull tattoo and this sort of, I don't know, pyramid tattoo and things like that. The exos are a little bit different um, and I, I think really cool. <laughs> because when you go to their face options, of course they're robots, so you get a lot of variety. I mean, there's still seven options, but they look, you know, they look a lot different from each other. Uh, you can sort of go with this eyeless option if you'd want, or you can go with this guy over here who kind of has this looks like the top of a skull. You can go with the default, or at least the first selection, the ultra smooth look. You know, there's just a lot of variety here. And you get a really wide variety of options for skin color, in quotes, because you have no actual skin. You can be painted a wide variety of things. And some of which are really cool, like this, um, you got a little bit of a camo thing going on there, for example. So uh, it doesn't show up as in the palette exactly, but when you actually select it, you see, oh, I've got purple camouflage now. That's pretty awesome. And the same goes for mouth color and etc., although you don't get quite as many options. And when it comes to the mouth color, that actually usually is about the glow of your character, like the inside of your character's face. You have to look closely at the video, but you can see when I'm changing the options, there's some internal lighting there, which is changing. And uh, head features also are pretty cool because you get like an armored visor, or you can choose these horns, or you can choose little antennas that come out of the side of your head for that sort of retro look. Lots of really cool stuff. And then the markings, they're pretty much just like tattoos with the other characters. Um, this is almost, this is, reminds me of Mass Effect, this one. So if you want to be a Mass Effect, almost, Android, <laughs> N7 Android, then there you go. So that is pretty much the extent of the character creation, though. There's not any other options uh, to speak of. And once you're finished here, uh, you know, there's not any stats to choose from. You don't choose any, any abilities at the beginning. Uh, you just get dropped right off into the tutorial area. At least that's how it works 
right now in the alpha. That may change uh, once the game is actually released. So that is it for Destiny character creation. Once again, this is Matt Doom Master with Alpha Game Reviews. Thanks for watching.